Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for uh, commentary on judo matches on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 in the women's under-70 category between Kelly Peterson Pollard from Great Britain and Hee-Ju Han from Korea. Uh, so Kelly is in white, Hee-Ju is in blue, and the competitors are just bowing in now, and we'll get this thing going. All right, so they're both competitors are getting their grip. Um, it almost looks like Kelly wants to switch grip on the lapel. Yeah, so comes in for the drop left. You won't say an algae. And uh, Hiju is going with the connected the connect was able to connect the knee and the the heel, which is good. But then gave that up. Really didn't uh, continue that the way that uh, you would normally when you've got the successful connection. All right, so Hiju is still searching for a grip. She's gone. Okay, she was going for it looks like the same side grip. Kelly, I'm not sure what she's going for. She's not got a grip on anything really. Like her right hand isn't got a grip. Now she does. Okay, on the lapel. Okay, the drop. Now. <clears throat> to Kelly's credit, she's the one that's been actually attempting throws, so I haven't seen anything from Hiju. But, uh, all right, well, she's getting called out for the false attack. In my mind, there are so many false attacks. That it's like, these, all these matches could be ended on false attacks. <laughs> all right, uh, a nice... Uh, attempt at a Taitoshi, just only going across to one. Uh, so it wasn't a really full Taitoshi, but it was able to get Hiju onto the mat. Wow, this is extremely loud. <laughs> Okay, so Hiju with the strong grip. Okay, with the Uchimata. And Julia still looks like she's she's having trouble establishing herself. It, it just it just seems so frustrating. Uh, if she's going to go for this left uh, Sanagi. Oh, okay, nice drop by Hiju. But uh, just a bit over-rotated. I think that <laughs> one under over-rotates, one doesn't rotate enough. So... Between the two of them, you got the right amount of rotation. But uh, yeah, there seems to be part of uh, what is ailing Kelly here in this match. So what we're seeing is now, okay, an attempt at the Uchi, but pretty far away from uh, Hiju, and a drop now on going uh, right by Kelly. Referee saying, I didn't call him, Mate. What are you talking about? Keep going. <laughs> and not so many words. And uh, still having trouble establishing herself. She's really try been trying to get the grip this whole time, it seems. So possibly a point of f further development for Kelly. I think she's going to get penalized. They're both going to get penalized. Okay, that's fair. It's not like Hiju's been doing anything either, really, so. But that does put uh, Kelly in a more desperate situation because he is now down two uh, Shidos to one. And, okay. Like I said, that that's an under-rotated uh, attack. And that was actually a lot better. It just wasn't far enough across. Okay. Um, that net was I wasn't gonna go anywhere. <laughs> Typically, like you would drive like that and turn if there was already a sort of a turn that was underway, not to to get under them, right? So.
Oh, there's the drop by Hiju. And okay, yeah, that's good. In terms of that's that's the then there was a. Oh, where's the part two of that? I thought there would be a part two for uh, from Kelly's part, but it looks like she just kind of stopped after the first uh, lift. First lift was good. It just you know you needed a part two to first lift then turn. <laughs> you know, so part two is turn. Okay, so. We're into golden score. This is where anything is everything. Just get whatever score you can. Doesn't have to be pretty. So will will who will strike first? Okay. He drew kinda went in. That was also sort of an attack, but with the one arm. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. That arm seems pretty stiff by Hiju. Oh, okay, going across, going across. If only standing arm bars were allowed. Oh, such standing arm bar fodder. Okay, this cradle that she's going for, unless she's going to rock it back, you got to convert that into a hold down. And I think she might be. There it is. Okay. I'm calling me very surprised. That's Osa Gomi's called. Uh, and, I mean, is this a Kami Shio Gatsume? She's got a arm on the leg it's not truly that but you know it is sort of the same principle so i'm gonna say it's a variation of a kamishio got to me <laughs> all right well that's a surprise uh congratulations to uh kelly for the uh epon victory via uh kamishio got to me uh she advances to the next round uh hiju i think was pretty passive was mostly grip fighting maybe that's where she's was pretty quite good at but um you know you gotta you can't judo isn't one on grip fighting right like it's you gotta get your grip yeah but you gotta be you gotta throw somebody you gotta you gotta get an attack in an effective attack right let's have a look at that uh, last part there um how did this all kind of about so really there's a failed sort of half taitoshi which happens and uh I was mentioning, I think, like, okay, you got to convert from from lifting. See, this turning action again won't do anything until she rolls her back. And in the rollback is when the hold down comes in. And I don't, I really think this is a weak hold down in terms of, like, how um, hard it would be for someone to get out of. Like, okay, personally speaking, this left arm, no reason for that leg to be held by that left arm. You can tell that this right arm is not linking with that hand. The hands aren't linked. So uh, it's only an arm that that leg should be able to get out quite easily. So uh, so what I would probably do to attack the position is free your leg um, and then try to almost like use your hands to push off the hips here and slide towards the ref or in this gap here down or uh you can even just shrimp right shrimp and just roll up into your spot right so i think there's lots of escapes from this this is not very strong hold down in my view maybe uh hiju is very tired maybe uh, kelly is extremely strong i don't know but that's that's an approach that i'm sharing and may or may not work depends on a lot there's a lot of variables at play but um something to think about anyways if you have your own thoughts you'd like to contribute or feedback from me um please leave a comment it's very appreciated helps me out uh understand what uh to improve and uh if you enjoy this video consider hitting a like and subscribe that would also be great and until next match have a great night